live from the Five Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live with John Hansen and Elizabeth Reed. But we get things kicked off today. Most people would not consider using the word fun when describing working out. That's true. I love working out. You do. I have to be honest. I'm a, a workaholic. She's crazy, uh, so, man. She is crazy. <laughs> I'm excited uh, for this segment. <laughs> yeah, there's a new bike though that uh, might change your mind about all this stuff. Not your mind. You're already you're already on board with it. But yeah, it's basically an elliptical machine and it's on wheels. And we sent Emily Engberg out for a test ride with personal trainer Nancy Stoneberg. I'm one of those gals that likes the elliptical machine when I go to the gym, but I also like to be outside when it's so nice out. So. I found the perfect combination. It's called an elliptigo machine. It's actually an elliptical machine that's on a bike. Everybody comments on it, and usually it's positive, cool, awesome, that type of thing. And how did you get hooked on this? I uh, am uncomfortable in the biking position, and so earlier this year I just uh, searched for a stand-up bike, and this is what came up. And one thing led to another, and now uh, we're the local enthusiasts. And have you noticed that you still get a pretty good workout, even though it is more comfortable? You are still getting, you're going to sweat a little bit. It's a better workout than a bike. Yeah, you're upright, and so there's more wind resistance. So and uh, it's just uh, a, a more intense workout than a bike. You know, the, the ellipticals came out to, to simulate running or walking, fast-paced walking without impact. And the bummer in it is that you had to do it in a gym all the time. This is just a brilliant, brilliant invention, I gotta tell you. And if it feels as good as it looks, I'm gonna be excited. Are you willing to do this to give it a first try? On well, camera, we'll see. On camera? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Holy cow is right! The faster I'm going, my legs are burning. Yeah. It's just great. Yeah, once you get going, you can definitely feel it. Isn't it? It's really, um, it's so different. It's just so different, that's all I can say, and it feels smooth. Yeah. And you you feel like you're, um, you really feel like you have control of it. I was a little worried about feeling like I could tip, but you don't no. feel like that. As a matter of fact, it feels like it's difficult to tip. And I'm winded, and let me tell you right now, I'm very conditioned, so the fact that I'm winded at all yeah. is amazing to me. Okay, so I could have increased the amount of resistance. Yeah. I could have changed the um, stride, right. made it longer or made it more narrow. Right. Um, handlebars I could change if I feel more comfortable with a little bit lower. Exactly. Yeah. Just right. wonderful. You know, what do you do when you hit a hill? When you hit a hill, you have to stand up and you either have to gear down and stand up to pedal it out. We're already there. Yeah. So yeah. when we get to a hill, we're already ready to go. Yeah. That's going to be wonderful. This is so fun and it is fun and, it was and fun. I don't really necessarily think that working out is always fun but this is something I could do and you go around you get to enjoy the nice weather no very fun fun um, new great workout fantastic machine I'm gonna have some nice buns after yeah this. we are gonna have buns of steel <laughs> And Nancy joins us right now with more on the Olympic goal. That looked like fun. It was a lot of fun, a lot more fun than I would have imagined. It was great. It does. I want buns of steel. Yeah. So how much do one of the Ellipticos go for? You know, they sit at about right now about two thousand dollars. So, um, okay. you know, and some people might think that's a bit much, but that's what you pay to, if you're going to invest in a good piece of equipment for your home or your gym for a good piece. And this was made very, very well. So, so if you exciting. save up enough aluminum cans, I maybe, think so. maybe you can get it somewhere. Yeah. All right. Where, where, do you, uh, where do you get one of them? You know, online. You go online to elliptigo.com and okay. it'll give you information. You have to order them online right now. What do you like when you take a look at that? It's like, why would I get that, especially for that kind of price, when I have a bike or I can just walk or run? Well, I think the first thing we need to do is we need to clarify. This is an elliptical trainer. If I say bike, John, everybody knows what a bike is. About 99% of your people would understand. When I say elliptical trainer, about probably only about 60% understand. An elliptical trainer is a, a unit that typically is done in a gym, and it allows people to keep their feet onto a platform, all right, smooth movement, but in an upright position and handlebars moving. You can't take it outside. All right, so it's very gentle on the hips and the joints. This guy has an identity crisis, okay? It doesn't know if it's a bike or if it's an elliptical trainer. The truth is, it's both. Hmm. And why do you want to use it? Because it is very gentle on the joints. It's a great workout, and um, and as I say, it adapts for everybody on size. Is it stable? It seems like you'd really have to use your core. Oh, I loved it. It them. was great. It was a lot of core. It was wonderful. Is it stable? I consider it more stable than a bike. People tend to, when you're up on a seat and you're high, and if you tip, you have to actually get down. You're already in position to drop a foot down. Kind Kind of like those scooters, you know the scooters when you sit and yeah. scoot around? Well, your foot's ready to be hit down and the lip to go was that. It was wonderful. Hmm. I can't help but think about the, uh, based on your statistics, there's 1% of our viewing audience right now saying to themselves, what are they talking about? 
What's up? Bike. Bike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got a couple of uh, exercises you can show us. You know what? What I do is I just I have a couple exercises that if a person either chooses not to get an elliptical trainer or elliptical, go, but they want to do some of the exercises good mm -hmm. for the hips. One of them is a movement where it engages core, a little bit of balance, and all you do is you raise the leg up, extend, drop down, reach back, it's up, forward, back. That's kind of... Actually, I kind of do that anyway. I'm going to go over here and try okay. this, actually, right. because this is kind of one of my moves. Am I doing this with you? Well, yeah, sure. But this is, I'm kind of going to show you. This, this way. It reminds me of kind of some of my moves when I'm walking down the street because I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the and job. I've seen that. I've yeah. seen that. You've seen that move? I have, yeah. I was showing that at Glamorama you a couple were. weeks ago. You put a couple of twists and turns uh, oh, on the dance floor oh, oh, with that. Oh, yeah. I've seen people around town doing it now. They oh, is that right? The is yeah, that right? All right. So, how do you do it, though? All right. Anyways, yep. It's up, extend, and kick it back. Oh, kick it back. Good hip. Oh, yeah. And good balance. You bet. Great balance also you can do a walking one which is up down and it's a little bit of a squat up yeah. down yeah if you're real enthusiastic you sure can <laughs> all right um <laughs> how many of those you should got... you do um you know what anytime it depends on how many again what shape you're in but um in a walking program if you're doing it and you want to get that hip rotation in i would say to do it from anywhere from 30 seconds to 60 seconds then get back upright got another one yeah just those two. Those two? All yeah. right. All right. Very good. Well, I'm sure you can get in real good shape with that. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. I loved You're how in, the, in that uh, piece right there, she was like, and if I don't, if I get winded, well, then, you know, anybody can. Too. Well, she's so, in pretty good shape. She is she's really good training shape. for a competition. Although I did get her to go to Dairy Queen last time she what? was on the show. What? Yes, I, made, I did make it happen. Yeah, she probably ordered just a chicken breast, right? <laughs> yeah, right. lovers won out on that battle. <laughs> You can work out for free with Nancy at her gym. It figures in Robbinsdale. She's offering a free personal training session. Just call the number on your screen. To schedule an appointment, make sure you say you saw it on Twin Cities Live, though.